Greetings dear friends, I present your attention to most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Audi A6 C4. There are even fewer claims to the brakes than on the 100, the H is more sparing and the system with the obligatory 4-channel ABS is more reliable. As a result, the resource is quite sufficient, to say the least. Although, of course, the years and the service take their toll. Rotten brake pipes, hoses and jammed calipers aren't such a big surprise, but the solution is relatively inexpensive. The ABS usually suffers from the electrical part, contacts in the block are broken, either the replacement of the electronic part or its soldering by people especially trained for such work helps. I'm afraid it won't work at home with the soldering iron. The suspension is as simple and reliable as its predecessor. Front-wheel drive cars have an almost eternal beam in the back. McPherson strut in front and an anti-roll bearer acts as a front lever. With this design, the suspension quickly loses its noiselessness, but it still runs for a long time. The main weak point is the silent blocks of the stabilizer level. However, when buying a car, there may be enough surprises of a purely resource nature if the owner frankly scored for repairs. There are almost no problems with the steering. The rail is reliable and most often suffers from trivial wear and tear in the central part, and the power steering system from corrosion of pipes and leaks associated with them. But this doesn't mean that you can relax when shopping. The price of the new rack and pump is quite high, and the chances that the previous owner poured liners, liters of ATF into the current system per month and changed the pump to a used one before the sale are quite real. Check the system for leaks carefully, otherwise everything will have to be repaired at your own expense, and this expense will be solid. On this part, there are no or almost no surprises. Everything was done with a good margin of safety and neither front-wheel drive nor all-wheel drive cars are a hassle. Of course, all-wheel drive vehicles, in addition to the CV joints of the steered wheels, which must be monitored in both directions, there are also CV joints of the rear wheels, a propeller shaft and a gearbox, and the central differential doesn't lag dirty all very much. The replacement is shown the more often the better, but 40-50 thousand at a decent age will be just. However, in most cases, the presence of these elements can be forgotten for years. For cars with manual transmissions, you will only have to think about the conditions of the clutch and the dual mass flywheel, where it hasn't been yet replaced with a conventional one. Yes, with runs over half a million, the box usually already requires cleaning, checking, replacing synchronizers and many oil seals. Especially a lot of oil leaks are due to the oil seals of the gear shift mechanism. Difficulties with the resource are mainly typical for powerful engines of 2.2 and 2.8 liters, and for those engines of 2.5. The rest of the motors, due to the lower torque, handle the transmission more carefully. With the automatic transmission of the A6, the situation has changed slightly in comparison with Wavy. The rather expensive and high-quality ZF 4HP18 on front-wheel drive cars was replaced with an automatic transmission of our own design. Automatic transmission O1N by this moment brought to a level where it could withstand the moment even of V6 engines, and in such a situation they try to avoid buying transmissions on the side. The number of cars with ZF gearboxes has dropped significantly, in fact it remained only with all-wheel drive cars in the Quadro version, but still this automatic transmission deserves our attention here. Later versions of the ZF or HB18 are an example of the most reliable transmission with the classic control system based on the governor. Unfortunately, the age and mileage of the cars guarantee high wear of the boxes. Surely, over the past years, someone drove a car, someone didn't change the oil, someone for the wrong one, the car was overheating, oil seals and gaskets were leaking. In general, this mileage was unlikely to come out without repairs, and given their rarity, it is not necessary to count on a contract unit. The 4HP18 is where high reliability plays a cruel joke. The box shows amazing survivability. It rides even when there is only enough pressure to turn on the third gear. It tries to soften even hard shocks and holds on to the last without oil. Therefore, they are being thrown in such a way that there is already nothing to repair. Although a good owner who changed the oil every 60,000 by the run of 300 400,000, it would be possible to do with replacing the rubber bands, repairing the oil pump, checking the piston D and worn out individual clutches. The box is surprisingly easy to repair. If it is still driving, then do not delay with repairs. It will come out inexpensively and most likely the unit will last a long time. Well, if it is already dead, then you can introduce a non-native 5-speed 5 5HP 5 19FL, since it was a version without CIN bus. However, they are also slowly becoming a deficit. You will have to look for a weld body and a control board from these automatic transmissions and mechanics from newer boxes. 
The situation with the aforementioned Volkswagen automatic transmission of the 01 N series Aga 097 is somewhat simpler. This first step box was put in many places and is still produced in China, where all Volkswagens of local assembly are in great honor. A slightly weaker design of the, than that ZF H 4 HP design benefits from maintainability. In addition, it has electronic control, which makes it possible to slightly reduce the risk of damage to the main hardware. But everything said about the ZF is true for the O1N as well. With age, everything breaks down. Surely someone did something wrong, and the runs are already such that it's time for the boxes to go through at least one or even two repairs. For runs of 180 to 150,000, it is usually necessary to replace the lining of the torque converter. It is unlikely working here with a lock. After 300,000 mileage, the valve body of the gearbox, oil pump and oil seals almost always require cleaning and repair. The active use of plastic in the design of this automatic transmission makes the mechanics and electronics of the box very sensitive to overheating, and the O1N is very prone to them in age. Fortunately, there are spare parts, and the box is rarely rolled to zero. It doesn't allow this. The mechanics are relatively reliable, the electronics are fairly simple. Although in comparison with the Wavy, there are already more expensive and complex valve bodies in more purely electrical failures due to loops, sensors and solenoids. And do not forget to check the oil and the condition of the differential. It is rather weak in these boxes, and new parts are expensive. If the automatic transmission is still badly worn out, then there are good chances of finding a contract unit in an acceptable condition. The bulk of the engines remain the same as on the Audi 100C4. Classic 4, 5 and 6 cylinder engines with two valves per cylinder, very iron and well adapted to harsh operating conditions. True, almost all forests have difficulties with control systems of a purely age-related nature, they are quite solvable. The age of the machines is now such that a lot depends on which elements of the cooling and lubrication system have been replaced. Houses in plastic require replacement and the state of the iron of the motors depends on them. Provided proper maintenance, many motors can survive to our time without major overhauls, but this is unlikely. The runs before replacing the piston group and repairing the cylinder head are usually about 300 400000 and most of the cars have gone much more. And do not look at the odometers, they wind them regularly and no one knows how many times. Motors with a volume of 2 liters with 8 valves of the AAE and ABK series are deservedly considered simple and very reliable, especially AAE with its mono injection system. The DigiFend injection on ABK is somewhat more complicated and often has many worn out elements at a considerable price. The increase in power here is negligible, in any case it is not enough for a heavy machine. With the 2.3 liter 5 cylinder AAR engine, there was already a KE3 Jetronic injection system and a VEZ ignition system, solutions from the last century. For 10 years the machines have worked perfectly, but now few people undertake to diagnose and repair these systems with high quality. There is simply not enough knowledge, knowledge and the original components are expensive. Due to malfunctions in the power supply system, fuel consumption increases dramatically and dynamics drops. So LPG on cars with this engine is very often encountered precisely as a replacement for the original power system. Almost all engines with old control systems have very expensive sensors and difficulties with tuning the native injection systems. And folk art is not asleep. You can purchase components of Invengetronic systems or Viner sensors to replace the entire injection system or its individual components. The installation of the January control system from VAZ is also widely practiced. You will laugh, but against the background of the German old school, domestic ECUs turn out to be quite modern and success suitable for installation with the correct settings. However, the best choice for the S A6 C4 is the V6 engines of the ABC and AAH series with a volume of 2.6 and 2.8 liters. Reliable, reliable, simple, and with a very durable control system, they have a resource greater than that of 4s and 5s with little appetite. Of the unsolved problems, only the unsuccessful design of the pump and the relatively small resource of the timing belt. It is recommended to change it every 60,000 km. And watch out for oil leaks very carefully, the motor is prone to them. In addition to the oldest on the A6, there were also two new gasoline engines. They were already familiar to regular readers of my reviews. Downsizing by the standards of the 90s, the 1.8 ADR series engines as well as the V6 2.8 ACK series will be put on the Audi and Volkswagen cars for many years in various versions. The control system is completely new, electronic but so far with one ignition module. The resource of the piston group is more than sufficient. The motor can pass about 350-500 pounds without overhaul. 
but it is worth monitoring the oil pressure, the condition of the oil pump, and especially the cooling system. Leaks are a very typical malfunction, especially unpleasant are the T-leaks on the back of the cylinder head, where the temperature sensor is installed and the oil heat exchanger leaks. Watch for the presence of an emulsion in the oil and try to change the oil at most once every 10,000 km. The engine is sensitive to its cleanliness. When replacing the timing belt, do not forget about the chain. It can also jump if you do not pay attention to the condition of the tensioner. By the way, it is quite expensive and non-original parts have a small resource, about 30-50,000 km versus 200 for the original. The characteristic noise of the chain, while audible in the cabin, is an expensive repair. The Crankies ventilation system is complex and not of the best materials. As a result, its metal pipe coke from the inside and the rubber hoses prowl. The cranking's ventilation well often loses its fungus. It flies into the intake, after which the oil consumption increases significantly and the part itself can damage the cylinder head well. In general, the main problems of the 1.8 engine are associated precisely with oiling, dead wiring and banal wear. In general, it is an, it is an, an, it has an odor of magnitude more stable than the old series of engines. It tolerates age well, and its power is quite decent. In practice, the 1.8 engine is much faster than the 2.35 and can complete with the 2.6 V6 with much lower fuel consumption. The V6 2.8 ACK series has about the same complexities and features. The cylinder head here also has 5 valves per cylinder, also with the chain in the rear connecting the intake and exhaust camshafts. Both the tensioners and the chains are exactly the same as 1.8, only there are twice as many of them. And oil leaks on it are an, an even more serious problem. The ventilation system was not well calculated and oil from under the plastic well covers easily go into the exhaust system. But in general, this is an excellent motor with a very good resource and power reserve. It is the best fit for a fairly heavy machine. Although in service tab, the new V6 is still noticeably more expensive than the older 6s, significantly surpassing them in efficiency. Of the old diesel engines, of the diesel engines, the appearance of the four cylinder engines 1.9, 1Z, and EHU, and a new version of the inline 5 2.5 AEL series with a power of 140 horsepower can be noted. Diesel engines of this generation were very successful, although the 90 horsepower engines for the A6 are frankly weak. The resource of such engines is still beyond price. They have fans, but in Russia they are very poorly distributed. On this information about the problems of Audi A64 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.